know, so got the little... little uh, got your little cute Adidas on, yeah, man. Picked up a free pair this weekend, Life of an Influencer. Life you know? of an Influencer. Nothing. This guy doesn't pay for anything. Nothing big, man. Bro, what's Here's in my that. box, bro? The, I don't open your mail, man. Yo, is that Matt Welty? He's wearing, oh, yo, there was a Jordan event today. He's wearing Jordans and he's <laughs> switching yeah, into Jordan. Adidas because so like he's too embarrassed to be, it's like his personal brand to never ever wear Jordans. Oh, Look at this shit. motherfucker. Fucking psycho, man. God, we damn, work with Trump this guy. Special. Yeah. Jesus Look at him, see, I don't like that shit. The boys in his fucking Adidas fan club are going like kick that. him out of the group. I'm gonna drop a dime on him. Oh yeah, we gotta take him down. That's a full size. That's a full size. She, she, she won every color. That's a full size. Hello once again to every single member of the FS Army. Of course, I'm your co-host, Brendan Dunn. I'm Matt Welty. Dad, Trinidad James is here, baby. Let's do it. And this is Full Size Run, and we have a very special guest. Uh, should we say special guest? You're a co-worker. He's special, man. Come on, a man. Get off his dick. <laughs> Whoa. My mom thinks yeah. I'm special. All right. That, that's good enough for us. And you are? Wayno. My brother. Uh, of, 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 of welcome, 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 fame. welcome. Should we say, is that where people know you from more than anything else? People know me from a lot of different things. I mean, oh, everyday struggle, struggle. Yeah, Not notably because this is my first time like ever being on camera, but people may know me from behind the camera. I used to do a lot of management. Okay. I have like, oh. You used to work at Rock Nation? You Rockefeller. 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 Should we, should yeah. Get it right. Did you diamond up one time or? Oh, absolutely. The diamond goes nowhere. It happens. The diamond goes nowhere. Yeah. I just, we see you, Biggs. Biggs actually put Biggs. me, um, they did something with Forbes and Biggs put on. me on the- Biggs who was on the show. Oh yes, Biggs is on the show. I'm Biggs, aka Hoffa. Is he allowed to do that? Or? <laughs> is, this, is this cool with you? <laughs> yeah, that's cool. All right. He put me on the Rockefeller family tree, so that was pretty awesome. Oh, that's awesome. That's Weird. Awesome. I don't know when I'm gonna be added. Like, I don't know where. Did you have oh, a man. chaining day or not? No, 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 no. I wore a lot of the chains, but I never got my own chain. Who's, whose chains did you borrow? You were out there borrowing chains. I, I, I used to wear, I used to wear Young Chris's chain. I hey. mean, you I remember I was on, um, the, 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 I was a. Uh, one of the entourage members slash A and R. Weed so, holder. No, nah, I never held anybody's weed. <laughs> but I wore Young Chris's chain before, probably Bleak. Uh, Bleak. Beanie Siegel. Is that the secret that there's Beanie only like Siegel three Rockefeller chains and you guys used to like rotate? No, 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 no. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> this guy right here. You, you had to earn your All right, chain. man. JR, Every, shut out, showdown, man. Relax. <laughs> All right, All right. Relax. As, yeah. as much as we like to talk about chains, uh, we also want to talk about footwear uh, while we're hanging out here. Welty, what's the first thing we have to discuss today? Yeah, the first uh, topic, just get into it, is kind of a, a sad topic. Um, last week, Sandy Bodecker, a Nike employee, uh, 30 Sandy. plus years passed away. A lot of people know Sandy Bodecker. I'm not going to say it's his most important thing that he did, but he was one of the originators of Nike SB. Yeah. He was one of the, the first uh, you know, team managers. Yeah. So a lot of people say that he was very influential in, in starting it. I mean, I never met Sandy Bodecker. I'm not right. going to like say it like that, but his contribution to sneakers I think that without Nike SB, and especially it's funny that the brand's actually coming back a bit now, mm -hmm. that a lot of people who work in this space and work in sneaker media, work in the sneaker industry, wouldn't have been into, yeah. into sneakers. And I think, I think that you that's... can't really overstate Sandy Bodecker's influence on this whole thing. The, the, the yeah. joke with SB goes that yeah. SB originally stood mm -hmm. for Sandy Bodecker. He was wow. the Nike's global head Hilarious. of design for, for one point. Uh, I think most recently before he passed, his title was uh, VP of Special Projects. I never met him either, but I was actually out in Milan for Breaking Two last year and he was Flex. of course he had the actual the under two yeah, uh yeah. two I'll, hours I'll for the marathon record mean. tattooed on his uh oh wow yeah that was like with the three guys one of them was like an olympic runner yeah from ethiopia i'm not ethiopia like i think eritrea and kenya eritrea, eritrea. Shout out to all my hobbit guys um <laughs> like i said i never officially met sandy bodecker but when i was there in milan he was kind of around all the nike people who mm -hmm. were in the circle there and I, I never got a chance to go up to him and say what's up and i always regretted it because like you know even at that point he was you know, he was physically deteriorated. He was uh, in the middle of a long battle with cancer, mm -hmm. uh, you know, but he was still a giant. So clearly he was still, you know, kind of looming over the space. It's like the energy this, around him almost. Still, yeah. still, a good, good vibe. Quiet, still a good vibe. You know, you could tell that he was running the show in some way. So I guess my my takeaway from that is if, if you're in these spaces with these people who you know gave us something huge. Give yeah, my flowers tell. while I'm alive kind of situation. That's right. That's right. That's hey, man, RP Sandy Bodecker, man, you're a bad mama jama. <laughs> I love Nike SB, so. Me too. It's a crazy for yeah. him to be gone, but thank you for your everything that you've done. Yeah. For sure, right. for sure. On, on to lighter things, we want to talk about the latest Tom Sachs. This is X a pretty heavy thing. Nike. Mm -hmm. This is a big deal. Uh, okay. okay. Yeah. This is uh, a big deal, man. Tom Sachs X Nike. This is called the Mars Yard Overshoe. They're mm -hmm. calling it the March Yard. It's coming out actually in London first exclusively this week and then. Uh, 
later on they have an announced release. I think it's like five hundred dollars. Yeah. Five fifty. Oh, retail. Yeah. Wow. yeah. How do you guys feel about this sneaker? I'm here for if it. If we can call but, it that. I mean, this is a fashion sneaker, something that he's but not the, really the into. Thing, it's very functional, the too. Thing like that, it's, I, like I think it. the thing that we need to state for the people who haven't seen it, um, Tom Sachs' Mars Yard collaboration, the right. first shoe, right. it's actually on the inside of this. Right. So right. If, you, first time, if right. you unflap it, like the sh but it's stitched in, you can't take it out. I think a lot oh, of people are going to wow. try to like <laughs> see if they can. <laughs> can you, you know what's you crazy is I actually seen him. I was like scrolling on sneakers. And I seen them. We're gonna bleep that out, but All go right. on. You were scrolling on I was Soul scrolling Collector. on Soul Collector. Love it. And I did see these. And um, when I first saw them, I thought they were a snowshoe. Yeah. So yeah, when snowboard. I seen them, I was like, yo, I would actually rock those. I would rock them like the rock into you the think snow. You could pull that off? In the snow, absolutely. I wouldn't wear it like casually. Out there just shoveling to wear. in the driveway. Doesn't that kind of look yeah, like remember when Wayne kids. was wearing the moon boots? Yeah. Remember that? I wore a pair just because some Nike SB. I, th like boots, that, I think you boots. can pull these off, and you're of one of the only people. I'm really worried. Of course. I mean, these are crazy. When I was out at Nike campus at the time, they showed us some I can't stuff I can't talk about, but they were. Oh, you can't talk about this. Yeah. Last night, no, no, no. no. dropping no, bombs. No, but there, 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 was, there, was, there was some stuff this that we saw with like quiet. similar similar technology, whatever. But I remember seeing that bag because it's actually like. They gave you, you the bag? Yeah, if you unstrap that, it, you like, got the bag? it's a full bag. Like it's, it's crazy, man. Oh, like, yeah, and it folds well, over, but like it's what's an actual. What's the relationship with the bag? Uh, I mean, like maybe the check hasn't cleared yet, but <laughs> got lost in the mail. Even though they're 500, people are still gonna go out and buy them because they they just can't think about this stuff any any more beyond Tom Sachs is a hype. Thing I know and that's it. P sneaker heads aren't as smart as you are, skip. right? Well, I would skip them because 500, I could go to the outlet and pick up some good th things. You know what I mean? So moving forward, NBA. Yes. We are like a little basketball stuff for Welty. Well, you don't uh, either. I like a little basketball. We'll little. keep it at a little. A little. Right, yeah. Really? Go Ducks. What's your sport? Go Ducks. <laughs> he went to I Oregon. Go. I'm a runner. You're a runner. Yeah. That's a tough sport. You're running for the cops? You're running for the cops? <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, uh, our boy Yeezy has a basketball shoe. Mm -hmm. um, when I think you probably seen it just looking over and stuff like that. Um, He's got the matching hat, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. I got there you. There we go. Oh, there you go. Red and white. I'll yeah. tell you, man. Oh, he's man, always you running, the, he's running the Trump <laughs> campaign every episode. That's horrible. Ah, so, Yeezy's <laughs> basketball shoe, they're giving them hell because of the 3M on the shoe. Mm. What's up with the NBA right now? Is the, I'm going to ask you because you're a corporate guy. <laughs> I act professional most of the time. They're right now, the NBA, they, we was talking about JR yeah. with a tattoo on the Supreme. Uh -huh. Now it's the 3M I, on your kind I think of it's shoe. crazy because this year, you know, there was kind of that thing that like the players can wear whatever color right. shoes they want. Yeah. Um, this, they, they're saying allegedly the reason why this shoe is banned is because oh, well, it's not actually banned. Not banned NBA yet. It, not it may be. It may. Shoe. It may potentially be. Banned. It's a red flag in the air. Okay. But because the, there's so much 3M on the on and the it's shoe. distracting to the crowd it, and the camera people yes, or the players. It, it's, we saw the same thing I think back in the 90s when Carl Malone had the LA gear like light the up lights? sneaker the light ups and those you got ba the LA gears. Nah, yo, I never had a pair of them shits. I actually did want the ones that had the key where you could take the light out. My cousin had them. Oh, wow, he was stunting I didn't on see those. Yeah. Crazy. What do you think about this shoe as a whole? Well, I mean, I'm only seeing one side of it. I need to see the whole shoe and see how it feels. And everything. you play ball. So from time to time. You know, I got to Would you hoop them? I need, I, need to, I need to hoop. I need to hoop in these. I need to know how comfortable they are. I need to know how right? comfortable they are. But well, comfort is a big thing with ball. Hit a switch? Yeah. Are you one of those people when you try, like when you go to cop shoes, you really have to try them on? Nah, I never try on anything. You're, you're an NBA guy, right? You're, Absolutely. Boom. Who do you think deserves a sneaker? Who deserves their own signature sneaker? Who doesn't have it yet? I, I think Ben Simmons because um, with Ben Simmons, like his off the court style, you, you know that sneakers, my love for sneakers comes from basketball. Okay. But now like, Performance. This was a performance shoe at one point yeah, in time. Yes, this was. was a performance shoe at one correct, point in time. Correct. Correct. This is a lifestyle shoe now. Yes. So I think Ben Simmons' style translates off the court where he's just on some chill stuff. So he would need a dope sneaker that could do both. But what do you think about Giannis? Giannis. That's going to be interesting. I seen a, like a sample of something that they said was a sample. Yeah, like they a leaked photo, big, right? Yeah, Nike check from like back wonky, here, huh? all you, the way up. You think there. he deserves a signature shoe? I think he. I think he deserves one. Yeah. I think. It's I don't one. know if it's gonna be good because I just don't know if they could like make a shoe look appealing for him. But I feel like all every high school and AAU team are gonna want to play in the. And office. I think too, yeah. like especially with his uh, connection to Greece, I think like if they can make mm. basketball shoes pop oh, in Europe. Get out some European. <laughs> shit. No, but it's it's, it's just facts. So, UK Uber driver, let's go. Christ. Last year, you know, PJ Tucker. Come on the show, um, Whew, you know, on, PJ. Dur dur on. during an interview with him, I know he said that I, I rushed him on it, but he said he spent $250,000 on- Bro, stop calling that number out because he told you that that's not the number. PJ Tucker's mad about mad you? No, but he said he spent more than that. Wait, wait, said, wait, wait, right. wait, is PJ he Tucker spent mad more than that? Wow. Yeah, he had on the potato chip show. So you got beef with PJ Tucker now? No, I don't. Hey, oh, okay. Come on the show. 
You got a plug at Jordan Brand? No, I need one. Please, Jordan Brand, get at me. Get up, boy, plug. plug. Get up, boy, plug. How, how connected are you in the sneaker industry? You, are you getting free sneakers in the mail? I do get free sneakers from time to time. Okay. I do get some stuff. I don't get all the cool stuff. I pay for a lot of stuff, but you know, yeah, I try to I pick can't my. I to that, but go on. I pick and pop. You know what I mean? I pick the stuff that I really, really want. I don't mind what paying is the for stuff, stuff you that really, I really, want. really want. Yo, honestly, the stuff that I want is a lot of stuff that doesn't come to my side. I would love to get all PEs. Like, if I could get all the stuff that comes from Michigan or UNC or Georgetown, no I would Oregon. Love... Nah, I actually like some of Oregon stuff. I feel like the the Oregon 14s is over sensationalized. Like, mm. that's just a. Yeah. I don't like the all over different. So there's something we need to address, right? Okay, that yes. you said yes, recently. I, I, I always keep the same So energy. basically since he's been here, he, he thinks he's like the sneaker champion of the complex office. Okay. I know you on everyday struggle mm -hmm. are like you don't repeat sneakers, you know. I've repeated, but I but, I'm only repeating against myself. We so. appreciate but you try to, right? <laughs> but now but now you got this guy in here, you uh -huh. know. You got like a manager and a rapper. You guys got like a little like thing going on. And he made <laughs> he made a comment. Gonna, there you go. I love it. He yeah, made a comment though that he goes. That's what the white man Dave does. Huh? Yeah, exactly. Uh, he said, uh, Wayno looks like the sort of dude who has every sneaker past 2015. Like, you've only been in the shoes for a few years. Mm. So now, this can I, can I, can I, can I, yeah, can I, no. I mean, no, it's cool. It's no, cool. no, 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 let me, no, so, boom. He, 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 he said it's here. cool, but he kind of, I see. He did a little red in the face. No. <laughs> because, because I got, like, I'm going to tell you my, where my love for sneakers come from. No, no, no. So I always going to keep the same energy because I knew he was waiting on this moment. For the record, I never said that. That's fine. No, it's it, this is not like I don't feel no way about this. This is all fun conversation. This is why I wanted to be on y'all show. First of all, shout That's out Everyday point, Struggle man. because Thank I watched you, the show. Appreciate I watched it from the beginning or whatever. It's still there. I had to get used to it because when there's a new person on the show, just like I'm new here, right. gotta get used to it. So of course, me being a sneaker guy, I'm always looking at somebody's shoes. Right. Right. So every time I look at your shoes, it's like every shoe that I always seen is like something like 2012. More recent. And always. So some if the, if you never say anything about sneakers, then I let you live. But people have been saying, oh. Wayno's a sneakerhead. Wayno is this. And this nigga do that. This nigga right, do that. Right, right. Or whatever. And I was like, hey, man, y'all niggas need to relax with that because okay. this nigga ain't wore shit before, before 2012. Ooh, so okay, okay. that was my statement. Okay. Now, please. All right. So look. Get me right. How old I'll, are you, Wayno? I'm 35. I'm 35. Okay. I'll be 36 in so December. Don't, put some don't respect have that on excuse. It. Here's what it is, right? When it comes to sneakers. Now, I only wear like a lot of the newest stuff. It's cool because I, I like to pick instantly what I'm going to throw on and I kind of plan it out, but I don't, but I, the reason why I've been repeating is because I'm only competing against myself, right? And DJ Academics. DJ <laughs> Academics, right? But my love for sneakers, I could tell you, my love for sneakers comes from like the third grade. Like the first pair of sneakers that I ever got that I could appreciate was the Jordan 6s. And I was- Which six was it? Which six was it? The black and infrared. Those okay. are my favorite sneakers all the time. And for it was, sure. they were, and that size, they weren't even suede, they're leather. You know what mm. I mean? Those are leather. Now, I know a lot of people don't know I know shit about sneakers because I don't get a chance to really talk about sneakers on Everyday Struggle. It's a topical hip-hop show, right. Correct. right? So I've got Jordan 4s from 98. I can't fit them anymore, but they like trophies to me. You know what I mean? I got Didn't 13. Didn't come out in like 99, 2000? No, they came out in 99, uh, 98, the, the summer of 98, because those came out the same time as the black and blue 13s. So I had both of those around the same time. They retro, the cement 4s. Um, but I got a lot of sneaks, man. I got. I actually wanted to wear my Grinches on here, but mm. I didn't bring them out today. Okay, I, 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 I want to see the Grinches. You are competing against this guy and you won't bring them out? I no, want, I, I didn't. want to see Listen, the Grinches. I'm not competing against this young brother, but the thing <laughs> is, is that you like, guys. trying to drive you apart. No, but I, I'm a he big Kobe that. guy, so I got like, I have a lot of Kobe's. Like, like, Grinches are my joints. Yo, I have a Keep lot of buck. Kobe's. I was buying Kobe's before they were a thing to buy. Like I used to go to House of Hoops and they used to hold them for me because they knew that I actually would wear them. Mm. You know, a lot. Of, I was buying Kobe's when they were on sale at VIM for forty dollars. Mm. That's you a statement. That's a statement. Yeah. So what do you think about his? Are you convinced? Well, no, I appreciate it, but put you it like put this. Put some respect on shit. Just I mean, I will bit. always put respect on it. I will always put respect on it. I don't consider myself a sneakerhead though. The reason why I don't consider myself a sneakerhead. They were just saying that. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. The reason why I don't. I consider myself a sneakerhead is because my love for sneakers came way before that term existed. Mm. Like, I mean, I spent summer youth checks. Like, my whole summer youth was dedicated to me buying sneakers. Like, Bo Jackson's when they retroed and all that. Real sports sneakers. Yeah. Got you. You know, gotcha. um, but, the Andre Agassi's, like, shit like that. But speaking of someone who's a questionable sneakerhead, your co-host, 
Oh, I mean, he's not a sneakerhead at all. DJ Academics. He's not a sneakerhead. So he's known he's for. He's a fashion I see, guy. I see. I see on a lot of the episodes, yeah. you end up roasting him for the shit he wears. You always have comments about his jacket or yeah, his yeah, hats yeah. or his sneakers. It's all fun. So what we wanted to do is we grab some of Academics' most legendary um, outfits, mm -hmm. and we just want to see. Like, what was the energy when he wore? What were you thinking? This. The majority okay. of that. The okay. majority of them are all from your tenure, right. but the one that first one we wanted to bring up, the double fake supreme. <laughs> The bread supreme outfit. <laughs> the bread supreme. The bread what supreme. Did he have one with that? I don't. I don't. Oh, I don't know. I don't probably know. Probably them all black pirate Yeezys that I yeah. don't trust. Oh man, I don't oh, trust he none had, of his Yeezys. No, no. Oh, he probably had on those flight 89s. Yeah. Love, oh. I mean, honestly, Ak is not a dude that I look to for anything fly, at all. So when I seen this shit, I just was like, okay, like he got got. Like I'm pretty sure. If somebody didn't give that to him, he probably paid like five hundred for that hoodie. Like he you know thought it was real. That? Oh man! Absolutely. I mean, it, you 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 know, a box logo runs Everyday for like eleven hundred. That could be so a Halloween costume. Right, that, that could be if you want to be if you want to be <laughs> academic for Halloween. You could well, be well, well, that. Well, well, you could be well, that. That's the worst a... thing on earth. How you go double fake? Yeah. What does Wilty have against academics? Why? You... Why, why are you taking so much? I don't want to put it out there. No, I don't want to put it out there. We both went to Rutgers. We both, uh, yeah, the so, what's yeah up go on to the next fit. This one, he's wearing the dope hat with the dope sweatshirt, yeah. Adidas soccer pants, and his one, like his one or two pair of Yeezys. The yeah, his turtle doves. I but it, is it is it really a dope outfit? Do you think? No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it says dope. See, what he I said really dope, dope twice. Outfit. I'm gonna tell you what I really like about academics, though. What I like about academics is he's very honest in his clothing and sneaker oh, trace yeah. approach. Mm -hmm. He yeah. knows that he can't dress for shit. He oh, will sure. tell you, yo. I get up, uh, I gotta go, let me grab this, that, 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 and the third. Like, yeah. I can appreciate That's a, a person that stays out of that conversation. We go on to the next, the next outfit. What we got here? He's got the off-white jacket with oh, a yeah, pair of I, these like off-brand uh, no. desert. The Peter Pan 3s? Well, no, he had one, those are some Clarks. You know, those are Oh, those are Clarks? Like, I didn't think those, I, I don't think those were even Clarks. Clark. Ak is Jamaican, so he really likes to stay sure. true to some okay. Clark shit. Well, well, he really shocked off. me when he had on that jacket. He shocked me the when he had on The off-white camo joint? Yeah, yeah, he shocked. Because I was like, that's a $2,800 jacket right there. I had on some. So he's getting paid more than you, right? He probably is. I had on some. More than all of us. What else? Going to the next. He's got another pair of desert boots, but the one that really struck me about this is he has the Kenzo Tiger he sweatshirt on. Lot. He thought about oh, this. Oh, he had him up on the mood board. No, with right, the, right, right, right. with, yeah. the, with the pelican, with the pelican snapback. With the pelican, yeah. It's like too many animals on. Like <laughs> he's like starting to try, trying to start a zoo oh, on like the. Man, you got heat for egg, huh? Yeah, it, it, uh, we just wanted to know. The reality is smoke. It's Closet really smoke. It's really there, smoke. Right? Academics, Matt Welty, cage match. <laughs> cage How match. Yo, for your money, who you betting on? They got into a fight. Who you betting on? Oh man, I gotta go with Act. I gotta go at. Damn, you ain't got no faith in you. You better no. tell nigga you broke an elbow beating the guy last year. <laughs> I got like, I got like five inches on him, but um, oh, uh -oh. where are we? Pause. 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 <laughs> but you got the you got the Supreme uh, yeah. up tempo. Do you like that shoe? Yeah, I do like the shoe. You know why? But the reason why I like that shoe is because when it first came out, the ears I couldn't afford the ears, and I was in the eighth grade when those came out. And when they retro them, I didn't jump back on them a couple years ago. Mm, yeah. And when they brought those ones out, you know, that was something that I could actually pick up. My man at Stadium Goods looked out, got a little Stadium discount. Goods? Yeah, got a little discount. My man Fresco. Oh, and I was able to pick those up. Yeah, All right. Man. So on to the, the last outfit. This is when he was trying to do the sneaker fit. Oh, yeah. He tried. To, he tried. I'll tell you. And he brought another box logo back. Academic bread. <laughs> Academic right. There he is. Was right. it, that, that was your influence on him trying to step up on the sneaker game? Absolutely. That was that was me. That was like the fourth or fifth week of him coming in and saying, "Yo, man, he always got some new shit on, man. Let me try something." Uh, and right. those, I, I I hate those ones. I really, you don't like those ones. I don't like those well, ones. Why he hates those ones. They that shoe's me, really bad. They remind me of the damn Scarface. Um, Air Force ones. Yeah, well, Force. the Air Force ones. And remember the um. The, the boots, the, uh, they oh, did the Nike boots. Oh, the Nike boots. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I hated those, man. Like, that was, that okay. made me not want to rock okay. Nike boots anymore. And you got the Pharrell's on right there, right? Yeah. I seen you rock, rock obviously you're rocking BBC, you rock a lot of Pharrell shit. My favorite brand, BBC. Pharrell, come brand. on the show. All right, we want, we want to talk about the worst take. Uh, every week here on the show, we punish somebody for having the worst take from last week. Uh, let us know, of course, in the comments this week, who said the most outrageous thing, and we will punish them accordingly. Um, <laughs> It is once more Matthew J. Welty uh, for saying Wale like Wally. The dunks, right? Which obviously Wally, Wally, sorry. <laughs> Wally, Wally. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like the movie, right? Yeah, Wally. Well, yeah. <laughs> this dude, man. Wale. <laughs> what did you get in the cup? <laughs> he got moonshine in that mother. Wally. 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 
I, I can, I can pronounce can his mask, name right. No, I right just, now, I just, I just. Put I, your mask on and say Wale. Yo, and, and, and Wale is like a, a rabbit that no, a lot of white people know. I know, I know <laughs> Wale. I just You're stuttered. Bad, I just, wait, 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 wait. You I know stutter, Wale? Yeah. Well, then how come he hasn't been on the fucking show yet? I don't know. Enough? Your worst take you sneakers. Put, put the mask oh, on. Oh, when you do it, you got to put on this. Put the mask on. Put the mask on. Come on. You should put the mask on. Yeah, they put the schedules out. But it's game worn. Game worn, all right? It's like a sock. Put them on. Stop looking at him, son. He got a mask on back here. Put the mask on. Don't be that guy. Please tell us in the comments who had the worst take. Oh, wow. And we'll get him next week. Oh my God! Can and you imagine him and academics fighting with that mask on? And <laughs> academics got the bread hoodie on. Somebody has superpowers. <laughs> she ready? Look at him. Damn. So, wait no. Yes. I know you pay attention to our show, man. We do drip, flip, or skip, mm -hmm. or whatever. Where you know, boom, drip is is good. It looks good on you. Yeah. Uh, flip is obviously make you some bread, and skip is get that shit out of here. Gotcha. Um, first. Man, that's um, that drip. <laughs> my boy. That ain't it, You put it up there. There we go. We got the Puma Clyde court district. Like, so Puma's doing basketball shoes now. Right. I think um, our boy from Duke. Marvin Bagley. Marvin Bagley. The yes. third. He's the first person I've seen to really wear him. How do you feel about these? He's Is actually the third person. Uh, I never really been into, I like Puma, but I never really been into their ball shoes. Remember, they had Vince Carter too. But you know Jay's behind this shoe though. Huh? Jay. <laughs> Jay? Jay-Z's part of Puma basketball. So? That's, right. that's your man, though. Trip flip or skip? That's your man, yeah. though. Uh, uh, skip. That's a skip. I gotta skip. Yeah, Jay's my man, but I gotta skip that. That's a skip, skip. for me, too. Skip for you, too. I right style for Look. Jay. This this skip, skip, skip. I'm skipping that. This is, it's a skip. Oh, it's a super skip for me. Moving forward, Sorry, we got the man. Air Force One Times John Elliott. You rock the John Elliott clothes, or is you into John Elliott? Anything nah, like that? I actually seen the LeBrons. Um, <laughs> right. The LeBrons was pretty. They look pretty dope, but I can't even. Sometimes I can't even get my hands on stuff like yeah. that. I'm gonna give it a buck. I don't even have those. Just, right? just let them I know. Couldn't, get, right I couldn't even the really find. They're also like three hundred bucks. I need the. I mean, I got That's some Nike price. plugs, but I can't get everything. No, I'm not retail. an artist, so <laughs> I'm not a flipper. I've never actually sold any of my stuff, but I would flip. Wait, those. you've never resold sneakers? I've never resold sneakers. I've never resold sneakers. I keep all my sneakers. I don't sell none of my stuff. I keep my stuff. Cause you know what? Even if I if I can't fit in anymore, it's like it's like a trophy for me. So I don't sell nothing. Drip flip, drip flip or skip, sir. Brandon? Uh this is a drip for me. I didn't expect to like this shoe when I saw it online. I, I got so to rock them in person. Yeah, yeah. John Elliott, nice guy. Please wear these next show. Please Why wear not? these. Put Why your not? shoes up on the table right quick. John, you know where to find me. Are these better than just regular white on whites? I yes. can't tell. The leather what? is nice. I the leather tell. is nice. Is this drip flip or skip for you, sir? Uh I think overall it's a drip. I wouldn't wear it, but I think it's a drip. It's a flip for me. Yeah. I don't like all white sneakers though. You see, you see some white girls in New York City wearing some extra dirty white. You always look at white girls in New York City. This guy. <laughs> Next, guys, we got the Daniel Arsham, the 4D joined the Adidas Future Craft. This is Brendan's favorite artist. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna start with you. Is this drip flip or skip? Uh, I think it's a flip. Flip, Brendan. This is a flip. Yeah. No, tell us how you what feel about it? Daniel Arsham. You love him. This talk, talk so your mind. I mean, he designed your favorite uh, sneaker this store, Kid. You know, it, it, it would be a flip, but I'm, I'm not even going to participate in this in any level, so it's a skip. Oh, did do you, you think he's a fan love in Kith recently? Yeah, uh, shout out. Uh, <laughs> I, got, I got recognized in Kith over the, over the weekend. Right. Big yeah. round of applause. Like, Maybe yeah. make yeah. the ass clap. They, nice. I wish they'd let me cut the, the Kith treats line and just... Skip, flip. I'm skipping it. Skip. Yo, I feel like, and I might be crazy for saying this, but I feel like I could drip these. Okay. I feel like I could drip these because some, from time to time, like, I like to wear, like, just an Adidas sweatsuit, top to bottom. Keep it all the way. What are you on these? It's a flip for me. Flip. Flip, yeah. Flip. Next, we got the Adidas young one. Come on, he, he got his Which flex one? going on, the SNS joints. Ugh. Um, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to go first. This is the drip, and I will be honest. Brendan Dunn sold me on this shoe. Influencer, influencer that I am. Yep. Did you get a check for that? No. Do you have a flip or skip, sir? Oh, it's a trip. I mean, I'm extremely biased. <laughs> Full disclosure. Right. I got them for free. Uh, this is Friends a... with all the guys at SNS. This is, yeah, this is a trip for me. Mm, I'm going to skip those. Right. I'm going to skip those. All right. Boom. So now we're going to outfits. Okay. Tierra Wack from Philly. She's really, the really homie. dope. She's really, really dope. Extremely. Uh, whatever. I'm so happy that we're talking about her. Please, Tierra, come on the show. Yes. I really respect her fashion. I know this guy probably doesn't. You freaking supremacist looking motherfucker. <laughs> but she has the para ones on right now. This is the drip for me. Yeah, I think para's dope. Uh, the shoes are cool. I like that she wore a tracksuit with it, but it, it's a flip. It's, okay. a little, it's a little hype. All right, uh, this is a drip for me. I, I hate this shoe, but uh, I'm feeling the tracksuit, so. Why no? 
it's a drip for me. It it, it kind of reminds me of Cotton Candy Bubblicious, but it's definitely a drip. I like the way she put it together. All right, moving forward, we got LeBron and the Kaepernick show when he came to, he's a Laker now. How does that even feel? Oh, man, tremendous. To be a real Laker fan and yes, LeBron I am a James. real Laker fan. Um, to have LeBron on the team it was, it's kind of crazy because I went through that whole war when, you know, 2009, everybody thought that we was going to match up with the, with the Cavs right. um, until they ran into Orlando. So I'm very happy for LeBron being down with the Lakers. This Boy, definitely yeah. drip, definitely drip. And the reason why is because it shows, it's a, not a silent protest. I don't. I never like to say that, but I like his stance. You know, right. I like his stance. Um, Kaepernick. Fully support that man and everything he's been through and everything he's trying to get across. So I would say drip. Brenda? It's a drip. I'm taking a knee. I'm said, taking, you're taking a knee? I said sneaker brands should stay out of politics as a right, whole. So right. to me, it's a total skip. Okay. He took a knee. Oh, he didn't take a knee. He doesn't take a knee. That's right. Okay. This is the drip. Last but not least, drip, drip Harder is out. Uh, Gunner and Little Baby. They got the same shoes on? They have the same the, pants on. The, the nah, yours? That's a flip. I think they should have changed the name of their album to Skip Harder. That's tough. That's uh, tough. I'm scared this one. I'm, I'm never going out with my friend and we're both wearing the same sneakers, let alone the same fucking thing. As, as Currency said, oh, well. someone's going so, home. Go home. Someone's going home. Um, I'm, I'm, that's a skip for me only because... Uh, Grow up. For me, even as, as well as I'm doing, I can't subscribe to buying $1,800 jeans for myself. So. Yeah. All right, uh, <laughs> uh, before we get out of here for the day, we want to dip into the comment section. Every week we scan across YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, etc. Sometimes we even take a peek into Matt Welty's Twitter DMs. Um, uh, we, <laughs> Scary get some, place. we get some comments from the user. I got you, my brother. Also this week we do have some memes to look at. Um, uh, <laughs> running a little contest on my Instagram of who could come up with the best Photoshop of Trinidad James. So before beforehand, we want to take a look at these, him in the Gucci mask. We have, I don't know what the SpongeBob reference is, but a lot of people sent me this one. I mean, the Gucci bandit mask did well Last, last week, guys. So we're we we're famous. One, what else do we have? We have... Uh, That's yeah. a classic oh, right man. there. You're getting apprehended by police? Like, that, I, what I, is that on my... From a technical is, standpoint, but still. Uh, what else do we have? What else we got? This is a Pulp Fiction Pulp thing? Pulp Fiction. You, you oh, the man. And <laughs> they, the was on, they was on me. The gimp, I think they one of the best ones was the, the wrestling one that had all of us. Yeah, yeah, they were, yeah. That's, that's the one. Yeezy Busta. That's the one. You're, I mean, you, you, Yeezy Busta, and someone who does not exist, were all getting choked out by me and Brendan. Oh, man. That was incredible. All right, let, let's well, take a look at, comments, at some of the comments here. We have uh, Hate the Great saying, best theme song of any podcast. Have you heard the theme Have you heard his theme song? Well, I did a theme song for Available on iTunes. Our show is out. Oh, I haven't yeah. heard maybe, it. Maybe you can go on wow. every day so and we'll talk about it. Too. It's really more of a show than a podcast. He says, right. I love Trinidad James. He is so extra, but doesn't it come across as extra to me. I've actually, did you write this? I've actually <laughs> thought about wearing a ski mask casually without trying to be ironic. Uh, good luck with that. All right. Michelle Rosso says, has anyone figured out what Brendan's Twitter handle is yet? No, <laughs> still very much a secret. Good job. Good luck. Trinidad looking like Nacho Libre. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Woo! We made that it. That was a good movie. Uh, this has been another episode of Full Size Run. Please do remember that you can catch all the Full Size Run squad, and I believe even Wayno at Complex Con coming up very soon. Hey, I'll be yeah. there. Come to yeah, Complex man. Con. Definitely. We're there. We're rocking out there. Come Definitely on, man. Buy, the, buy yourself a pair of tickets. You know tickets it, everything. You're going to perform all gold everything, like right? I'm going to perform a full size and all gold everything. We'll, we'll double see you check. there. This has been Brendan Dunn. I'm Matt Welty. Hey, Trinidad James. Come to Complex Con. And I'm Wayno. Peace. She, she, she won every color, that's a full size. Buy a six for my kids, bought a seven for my kids. This is Full Size Run. I need you to subscribe now, or I'll be forced to shave my mustache. This is Full Size Run. I need you to subscribe now, or I will quit this motherfucker, man. Subscribe now, or Trinidad James will have to freestyle again. Subscribe now, or I have to get a real job. Subscribe now, because I just want to buy Gucci socks and be great and live my best life, please. Thank you. I can support that. Yeah, definitely. If, if nothing else, subscribe so Trinidad James can buy Gucci socks.